Dr. Halsey is a complex and interesting character. For some, she is the morally grey mother figure of the Spartan program and is, to one degree or another, part of the reason that humanity survived the War with the Covenant. To others, she is a black and white narcissistic war criminal, willing to go to any ends to get the results that she wanted from her experiments. One thing can be agreed between both of these respective camps, and that is that no matter what you think of Halsey's actions, good or bad, you cannot deny her genius. And it is the sure-fired confidence in doing what she thought was right for humanity, that deep-seated belief in her studies, her science, her experiments and her projects that makes her come off as almost too confident, almost arrogant to those who speak with her. However, in spite of all of this arrogance, in spite of all of this confidence, depending on what way you look at it, there was one thing, one experiment that she performed during her time as the chief scientist of the Office of Naval Intelligence that she was evidently so concerned about, perhaps so ashamed of, or indeed so fearful of the consequences, that she erased all records of that experiment, both digital and analog, and hoped that no one would ever find out. But today, we discuss that very project, the experiment that went wrong, so wrong in fact, that it scared Dr. Halsey. Roll the intro. Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00, and in keeping with our recent theme here on the channel, we're continuing to dive into some of the deepest, darkest mysteries of the Halo universe. And we have a very interesting one on the plate today, and regards one of Dr. Halsey's most prized possessions, and the awful consequences of an experiment gone wrong. Halsey's journal is one of the largest repositories of lore in the Halo universe, released with the heroic and legendary editions of Halo Reach and briefly featured in the opening cutscene of Halo 5, Dr. Halsey used this journal to jot down notes and thoughts regarding her ongoing projects with both the Spartans, Project Mjolnir, and Artificial Intelligence. It was a way of keeping her private thoughts organised and in a proportionally less trackable analogue format rather than digital versions that could have been easily tracked, retrieved, accessed, and hacked by the ever-overreaching systems of the Office of Naval Intelligence and their resident artificial intelligences. The journal, however, was retrieved and confiscated by the Office of Naval Intelligence for extensive study. Some of the information gleaned was ultimately used to prosecute Dr. Halsey for crimes against humanity, in spite of the fact that the Office of Naval Intelligence were actually abundantly aware and even complicit in many of these crimes. Other parts of the information gleaned within were used as the foundational basis of many research projects by the Office of Naval Intelligence's Science, Technology and Engineering divisions. However, in spite of having this foundational leg up in regards to research, it was still marginally outside of the capabilities of the Office of Naval Intelligence scientists, thus somewhat necessitating the need to not execute the good doctor. However, in spite of all of this extensive information that the Office of Naval Intelligence then had available to them, there was one entry missing from the diary. One very specific entry regarding a very specific experiment, but with a wholly indescript and eerie outcome. This particular entry could not be substantiated for one simple reason. The pages had been torn from the diary, suggesting that whatever took place, even Halsey didn't want that information being found out. 
and as we begin to uncover the specifics of this entry, and theorise on the potential consequences of this experiment, we realise why Halsey was so concerned. Now when Halsey's journal was released in the heroic and legendary versions of Halo Reach, it released across the world with thousands of copies of this journal finding their way into the hands of devout Halo fans. And as the Halo fans panned through the book, they found the remnants of these torn pages. Between the entries of September the 4th, 2547 and September the 5th, 2547, there were two torn pages, the remnants of an entry removed. And for a good while, everyone assumed that these missing pages were just part of the lore, a little breadcrumb, a mystery, left in the very pages of Dr. Halsey's journal meant to invoke curiosity, suspicion, even conversation on what the contents of those missing pages were. However, it became clear shortly afterwards that there were at least a few editions, a few copies of Dr. Halsey's journal within which those ripped pages had not been removed. Obviously, to these individuals, they suspected no different. They had Dr. Halsey's journal, they read it cover to cover, and accepted it for what it was, not knowing that the vast majority of other people who were holding their own copies of Dr. Halsey's journal were missing two pages that they still had. It took a short while, but eventually, these pages were discovered as being the missing entry from Dr. Halsey's journal. And what they contained, well, let's read the entry first, before we get too ahead of ourselves. Procedures and Notes 1. Breach the external, internal, and vacuum coupling shields to the singularity. This is by no means a procedure that has ever been well documented and is rife with anecdotal reports about the laws of physics being bent, doubtful, and of several technicians vanishing, occurring especially in the early years of use before remotes were a possibility due to EMP flux. Why can't the UNSC make a proper pan torque screwdriver for these things? I'd also prefer using hardened remotes, but they in turn are controlled by and linked to networks that would detect and record the remote's activities. 2. Check probe telemetry systems. I've borrowed one from Reach's early warning slipstream space observatory. These probes were never designed to operate so close to a gravity well. I have compensated, but overall effects remain unknown. 3. Initiate AI seed H7 transfer to the matrix strata within probe. 4. Start FTP and verify data received. 5. Activate AI seed within matrix. 6. Launch probe. Before we move on to the observations, let's just recap exactly what's going on here. It becomes abundantly clear by the steps that she's already outlining in putting this particular experiment into effect is that she's planning on putting an AI matrix into a slip space field. Now the purpose of doing this somewhat makes a lot of sense. It was thought at this point in the Halo universe that the thing that limited Smart AI's seven year lifespan was the physical space or topography of the Reinman matrix, the very core of an AI's intelligence. This was the strata within which the numerous, nearly innumerous connections were made in a similar fashion to the connections that would be made in a living brain between neurons, but obviously within a optical strata, the Reinman matrix, and also substantially faster. It was thought that the physical constriction of space within the Reinman matrix was what limited AIs to their seven year lifespan, approximately. So it was thought that potentially giving them more space would allow the AI to live longer. And indeed some anecdotal evidence supported this idea. On Planet Harvest, two smart AIs, the AI known as Mac, and the AI known as Loki shared the same data center and processor. However, 
only one AI could use it at any given time. The interesting thing about this is that, at least in Loki's case, he was the smart AI aboard the Phoenix-class colony ship that originally colonised Harvis, known as the UNSC Skidblavnir. But the colony of Harvest was founded in 2468, meaning that when Harvest ultimately fell to the Covenant, Loki and it is presumed Mac were 57 years old. So Halsey took this to its next most logical conclusion that if it is limited by the topographical space within the Rhineman Matrix, putting the Rhineman Matrix within a slip space field where the laws of physics don't apply, and thus the physical topographical constraints of the Riemann matrix existing in three dimensions of normal space-time would be unshackled and the Riemann matrix would be able to grow within the 11 dimensions of slipstream space. Halsey borrowed, as she put it, one of Reach's deep space slip space observation probes to perform this experiment, and then used one of her own cloned brains in order to produce an AI seed specifically the one marked H7. This AI seed would then be loaded inside of the slip space probe, with the seed then being primed for an initial growth before being transitioned into slipstream space and then monitored to see the results. This is when her observations come into effect, and they go as follows. My removal of the shields induced a peculiar synesthetic effect that crawled, appeared, or scented along my left arm to my neck. I also experienced a kind of hiccup in my awareness, likely generated by the delta time that can occur with abrupt transitions into slip space. Probe systems checked with intolerable variances, AI seed data verified to seven nines, seed transferred with no errors, AI initial growth state confirmed, probe telemetry uplinks checked, and triple verified, probe launched on a lined trajectory. And so the experiment truly began, and what happens next becomes significantly more eerie. Time seems to have mysteriously elapsed, though I'm uncertain. There is a step anomaly in the chronometer. This may be a technical artifact or a subdimensional leakage as the probe was inserted. No effect on me physically, nor on my wristwatch. I just reread this entry and discovered that I had already documented this temporal disruption, yet I have no memory doing so. Telemetry confirms AI growth is beyond exponential, appears instantaneous. From the temporal discrepancy? some hitherto undiscovered multi-dimensional effect on the AI cross-linkages? Is it possible that the unshielded slipstream harnesses alternate physical laws? Much of the incoming data and consciousness cross-checks now garbled, voice communication from AI attenuated. Logic stroke mathematics scriber tests confirm full functionality, but the conclusions, insights, and even the nonsense generated is disturbing, making sure this all gets recorded. Comments on humanity defy reason, on the covenant, on the other intellects in the mist. Does it mean slip space? Another step in time, or lost consciousness? Four hours missing. Data transfer buffer blown, capable of 148 hours at maximum rate, replacing it now. Telemetry now completely operational, but there are the most damnable gaps appearing in the record. Rampancy indicators, all negative. Voice communication increasingly nonsensical. Communication burst. Mathematics of all things. Can't make sense of the equations. What am I missing? Incredible. Unbelievable. Telemetry lost. 
contact with the probe has terminated on my end as well. I have sealed the vacuum, inner and outer shield layers. Experiment terminated. I have no desire to repeat the test. I can only hope the AI is dead because it's irretrievable now. Ported the data to Gerard for further analysis. I filed and encrypted essential records under my personal code. Triggered Viral Worm and Bit Grinder to destroy all other digital witnesses to this experiment. Ah, of course. One last thing. One can only assume at this point that perhaps the pages were immediately torn from the journal and then incinerated. Obviously this didn't actually happen because we have just gone over these removed pages, but you know, it's part of the in-universe law, so we can forgive the inconsistencies there. Nevertheless, the knock-on effects of this experiment and the verbal communications, data transfers and calculations that Halsey observed during this time paint a very eerie picture made no clearer by the missing sections of time, likely caused by her close proximity to an open and operating slipspace core, with a few occasions of time seemingly to have mysteriously elapsed, and in one specific circumstance had jumped more than four hours that she had no recollection of, and assumed that she had lost consciousness. The likelihood is, she didn't. It was just the effects of being that close to an operating and open slipspace drive, with a particularly eerie part of her observations highlighting that she had already made a note of temporal disruption but didn't remember doing so. So either she had made the note in non-linear time, meaning that she made the second note realising that she'd already documented the elapse of time before she made the first note of the elapse of time but because it happened in non-chronological or non-linear time, she had no awareness of the fact that she'd already written it because she hadn't actually written it yet. Or indeed, she may have been exposed to simultaneous time, which meant that she wrote both entries at the same time, but that it was two separate instances of her within simultaneous time at the same time. This is already getting very confusing. What's more concerning is what was happening to the AI during this circumstance. The AI took seed and began to grow as all AIs do, their Riemann matrix blossoming and their intellect coming into effect. The AI was checked on several occasions and was found to have no signs of rampancy. And yet, this AI began speaking of entities in the mist, basically other intelligences out there with it within slip space. It began making comments about humanity that didn't make any sense or defied reason. Immense communications bursts with mathematics of all possible things but that just Halsey didn't have the intellect to deduce, with immense temporal gaps appearing within the record. And as communication finally grew to an increasingly nonsensical end, contact was severed. Halsey waited an indeterminate amount of time before terminating the contact on her side as well, and then simply hoped that the AI contained within was dead, because in severing the contact and thus shutting down the slip space field, the AI's Riemann matrix was lost to slip space. One can only guess at what was happening with that AI. All we know for certain is that the AI was alive, it was conscious, and as far as Halsey could tell, was not rampant, but that the information coming back from the AI was beyond human comprehension. With the AI existing within Slipstream Space itself, it quite possibly was open to more time than it was actually experiencing within the normal dimensions of space-time. Indeed, it is entirely possible that that AI Riemann matrix, although only existing at least from this entry over a few hours, maybe a day at most, may well have experienced millions, if not billions of years of simultaneous time passing. With its Riemann matrix, its brain completely and utterly unbounded and able to grow as fast as it desired. And the creepiest part about all of this 
is that it was aware of other intelligences out there with it. There were other beings in slip space, and worse still, at the conclusion of the experiment, it is entirely possible that the AI survived the disconnect and may still be out there within slip space. And since time is non-linear in slip space, it could be at any point in the entire history of the Halo universe. It could be the original consciousness that brought forth the domain. It could be a godlike intellect that the precursors themselves worshipped. It could be living time itself. It could be a universal consciousness. Or it could just be an intense and immense intellect that may have its will be done at any point in our known universe without warning and without reason. And we would be powerless to stop it. And until next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider hitting the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Be sure to like the video if you did, and pop a comment below on what you'd like me to cover next. I just want to take a moment to thank my patrons, Spartan10148, the Metarch of my facility, Falcon, Sylphia, Mikhail, Ashley, Jordan, and Esoteric Sight, my dutiful monitors, Darian, Legions Lost, Lab Rat, Spartan0137, Jacob Kemp, Sean, Element Zero, J3, Mr. Keys, Gungslinger, Evermore, Personal Devil, Aldeas, Toxic, Scion Esports, Gem, Saber, and Relentless, my diligent submonitors, my fleet of Strato Sentinels, my loyal enforcers, and all other patrons who continue to support the channel. If you want your name on the end of the video and some perks earned along the way, head over to Patreon and consider supporting the channel yourself. Big shout out to my Tier 0 Transcendent YouTube members, Spartan137, Jacob Kemp, Talia, Fenrir, Bornsteller, Jimbo, and Balaz, and all the other YouTube members keeping my installation running on that glorious vacuum energy, with a special mention to the Accursed Hunter. Shout out to John due to the mathematical formula used to determine the area within a pentadodecahedron. <laughs> Oh, and Lena, because that sandwich. And <laughs> remember, there are tons of ways to support the channel and keep my installation pumping out content at a breakneck speed. Much love to you all, take it easy everyone, and find peace in the domain. <laughs>